Struggling with an addiction is a 24-7 battle, and the resources people need to get help mostly run on business hours. But one facility is trying to change that. Cassie Arsenal has a story in our ongoing series, Addicted. Addiction Services Council, this is Cody speaking. Whether it's a drug addiction, alcoholism, or mental health, it's an around-the-clock fight to stay alive. And Addiction Services Council is filling a gap they've been seeing to save lives. When we go into the hospitals on Fridays and when we go into the hospitals on Mondays, um, that's when we see the most clients. So I know between that Friday and that Monday, we have a lot of people that are lost. The Addiction Services Council is launching a new program the first week in February. It's called AIM, After Hours Individual Mobile Engagement. It's trying to reach people at their darkest and most vulnerable times, making peer supporters available after 8 p.m. on weekdays and all hours of the weekend. And when you call, a peer supporter is guaranteed to get to you within two hours. Just because we work business hours, addiction doesn't work business hours. And the people that show up to help you are people with experience, other recovering addicts. These are people that have lived experiences. These are people that are in recovery themselves or have experiences with mental illness. Did drugs my whole life. When I was in active addiction, I've tried to call treatment facilities and my moments of willingness just wasn't captured and I could have died. Cody Kinser says willingness is key. That time is of the essence to act quickly because the time between when an addict asks for help and when they give up and get their next fix is a tight window. He's the liaison between meeting people where they are and getting them their next resource as seamlessly as possible. These guys show me a little bit of willingness. I'm coming for them. It's a door-to-door -door service unlike no other because what shows up at your door is a person genuinely looking to save a life. Cassie Arsenault, Local 12 News. The program is funded by a grant. The number to call when it begins in February is here on your screen, 513-620-RING.